This tutorial is sponsored by Videoblox. Hey, what's up guys? Chris Connor here with a brand new creative tutorial. And today we're taking a look at logos in title sequences. Now, I very recently updated my logo intro and it took me quite some time to make. So I thought, now why not show you guys an easy and accessible way to have access to professional looking intros and title sequences without having to design them from zero. Here comes Videoblocks and their extensive library of After Effects templates that are super easy to customize. And for those that you do not know Videoblocks, they're basically for us. The filmmakers, the VFX artists, the producers, offering us access to stock footage, motion backgrounds, templates, and so much more under a subscription-based service. So follow the link in the description and start browsing because they do offer a 7-day free trial for you guys. So let's see how it works. So the first thing we need to do is go to the Videoblocks homepage and as you can see they have footage, backgrounds and After Effects. So I'm gonna click the After Effects tab. And here you can search specific things that you want or you can go to the After Effects spot up here and you can see they have categories for intros, promos, cinematic titles, typography, everything. And so I'm gonna go for the logo reveal now. And as you can see, Right off the bat, we have so many choices to preview and see if we need some, if we like some of those. And you can, of course, like custom make your certs. Um, so let's see. So I can simply glide on top. And as you can see, we can have a small preview window of what the template looks like. So this is super awesome for photo stuff, but we're looking for a logo. So I think this one was pretty cool. Yes. So let's, let me click on this. So we get an awesome preview to see if this is something that we would like to do. And it looks pretty cool. And the awesome thing is that this one also includes side effects, which I'm always excited for. So let's see, I have the After Effects template, so I'm gonna click download. And awesome. Go, go, go. And awesome. So we have it ready now. So I'm gonna go to my folder I'm gonna close this one for now. And I have After Effects, so I'm just gonna bring it out here. Close this. And Extract. Awesome, so now I have my folder, I don't need this. So let's open up to see what's inside. So as you can see right off, we have the preview, the After Effects folder file, and a how-to guide, which is, this is really a really nice thing to have. So. And the footage, of course, we have audio, yep, and footage files, awesome. So let's click, no, I want a new folder. So this is the project converted, yes, don't worry about that, this is a different version. So let's see what we have, final movie. Okay, so here is the template, it's basically the preview that we, sh we saw. So what you need to do is find a folder that says logo, or change your logo or something, and open the composition. And here you can see it's basically, let's put this one on full. It's, it, this is basically where you simply have to drop your logo and title and the whole thing automatically will change everything and you can simply hit render after you preview it, just make sure. But then you only have to click render and that's it. You have an awesome intro or title sequence on anything that you need. But let's see how we can do this. So I will go to my design folder and let's go logo and I have my logo here so I'm just gonna drag and drop it inside so I'm gonna delete this ones for now because I don't really need them and I'm gonna bring my logo okay now this is a bit excessive in terms of size so let me put this to 50 so I also want a title though so I'm gonna put it to 35 and I'm gonna open my grid just nah that's too much grid so I'm gonna open my proportional grid just to have everything aligned in the right way. So I'm just gonna put that there and I'm gonna select my type tool and I'm gonna write here and I'm gonna write Creatrix Visuals. Okay, and I'm just gonna realign everything just to make sure that everything looks good. So let's put it there, hit S on the keyboard, play with the scale and let's see. 
Uh, maybe 50. That's 500. Nope, 50. Awesome. Realign everything and make sure everything is cool. There. Let me change this one to like 40. Cool. So if I go back and scroll through, now you can see that everything has been updated and I have what I need. But let's say you want to change small things, right? So as you can see, you have everything here and you can turn things off just to see what those things do. So I'm going to go to the drop your logo folder and that's the one we were here. So I'm not actually needing that, but I do need this one. So I'm not really a fan of the color, let's say. So actually, I'm just going to click it off completely and let's go back. So now I have a transparent and I'm not a fan of the background too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new solid and let's make it gray. I do like dark. Um, and this is a bit too bright, so I can either change the solid or simply go to color correction and curves and play with the darkness. Okay, cool. So I'm going to put this one on full for now. So actually, what I'm going to do, I think it looks pretty cool. I just wanted a more simplified it version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit RAM preview and see what we got. Okay. That was pretty cool. Now, as you can see, in under five minutes, I got a brand new intro that I was able to customize. Just changing small things, I can make it something that is mine, basically, which I think is pretty cool. And yep, that's it, basically. It's a very awesome tool to have and being able to create titles or sequences or logo intros or cool demo reels using custom templates from video blocks. So I think you guys are going to like the accessibility like some, that something like this gives you and how awesome and easy the result is without the hassle of having to design everything from zero. So guys, make sure to check out the link in the description and check video blocks out. Okay guys, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Make sure to check the other tutorials on the channel and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, Stay creative and awesome.